What's up guys, in my video today I just wanted to quickly go over the camshaft that I got from Texas Speed. I'm going to tell you all the specs and hopefully it will help you out on choosing your camshaft. So the camshaft that I got from Texas Speed, on their website it's listed as the Stage 1 Low Lift Truck Cam. Just on the first appearance, I would say that this camshaft looks to be um, pretty high quality. I'm not going to get it out of the package because um, I just don't want to mess around with it too much. When I was deciding which camshaft to pick, I actually called Texas Speed and talked to them and they said that their most popular camshaft is the Stage 2 truck low lift cam. The main difference between the two is the duration. They both have the same lift and you can get the same uh, lobe separation angle on them both but the duration is a little bit longer on the Stage 2. And they also have some dyno charts on their website of the Stage 1 and the Stage 2 that I looked over a little bit and I decided to go with the Stage 1 because it has a little bit more low end torque. And because this is going to be going into a truck I thought that that would come in handy. Now it's not a huge difference, maybe 5 to 10 horsepower below 3000 RPMs. Above 3000 RPMs, it looks like the Stage 2 has about the same amount of torque as the Stage 1, but it, the horsepower kind of goes up higher, if you will. But there's not a huge difference between the two. And I figure that in the end, I'll probably be doing about 90% of my driving below 3000 RPMs. Most of it's going to be around town and uh, unfortunately I'm probably not going to be hot riding it that much around town. I also plan on having my truck as my daily driver so I want it to be pretty easy to drive. One of the things that I wasn't quite sure when I was picking the cam was the lobe separation angle. I went with the 114 but they have different options that you can choose for each cam. I think they I think for this cam you could have went with a 111, 112, 113, or 114, but like I say I went with the 114. I'm not sure how much difference there's going to be between those and how exactly they're going to affect your specific vehicle. The stock camshaft that's in the truck engine now has a 114 sep lobe separation angle, so I figured that I couldn't go wrong with sticking with that. So just to give you the exact specs on this camshaft, the duration for the intake is 208, the exhaust is 214, the lobe lift on the intake is 0.324, the exhaust is 0.324, um, and the valve lift with the rocker arms at 1.7, which is the stock rocker arms, is going to be 0 0.550 and it's the same for the exhaust 0 0.550 and that was part of the reason I like this camshaft basically they max out the max lift that you can get um, using the LS6 springs which are a pretty good and inexpensive spring to use on your heads if you decide to use a camshaft that has a higher lift than 0 0.55 you're going to have to start looking at different springs and some of those are going to be quite a bit more expensive. And that's why I decided to go with the low lift camshaft is just because I wouldn't have to get those more expensive springs. And even though this is called the low lift camshaft, it's significantly more lift than the stock camshaft. And then as I mentioned before, the lobe separation angle is 114 and it says that the intake center line is 111 and I'm not exactly sure even what that means. And just to give you an idea of what the difference is between the Stage 1 and the Stage 2 low lift truck cams, um, I got the numbers here. For the Stage 2, I think everything's the same except for the duration. And for the Stage 2, the duration is 212 on the intake and 228 on the exhaust. The, the difference in max power between the Stage 1 and the Stage 2 is about 10 horsepower according to the Texas Speed website. For the Stage 1, um, they say you're going to get about 45 horsepower over, over your stock camshaft and for the Stage 2, it's 51 horsepower. And the torque curves are fairly similar on the two. The max torque on the Stage 2 is like 
two pounds more than the stage one. The reason I really wanted the stage one, like I mentioned before, is because of that low end torque. So hopefully you found this video helpful in deciding what kind of camshaft you want to put in your engine. If so, please remember to like the video and share it and subscribe to my channel by hitting my logo below. Thanks.